Yeah, it's uh, it's bending, bending to the point of looks like it's gonna break. And I don't know what in the world we're gonna do, but I mean, ain't much you can do. I guess whenever stuff is about to break, you just about have to just sit back and wait till it breaks, right? Well, yeah. Um, I guess we just need to show them what we're talking about. That is, it's a, it's, it's to the point of it's about to break. I mean, which is kind of awesome, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> So, if that makes any sense, I don't know. We'll just show you what we're talking about. Yeah, okay. But before that, that yurt forecast. Currently 83 degrees, got some sunshine, some cl clouds passing by. Chance of thunderstorms, about 4 o'clock. It's, uh, yeah, humidity's up there, about 70%. So, that's that good old south weather for you. But we love it because it won't be here forever. And that is the yurt forecast. For the Yurt Nation, guys. It's about to break, guys. This, it's about to break, you guys. Let me stand back here and give you more of a visual. This peach... No, stay back there, honey. Show them. This is our peach tree. And I mean, she is loaded to the point of about to break. Yeah. So, uh... It looks like a fruit stand, but, uh, it's fixing to split. You about ready for some, uh... Good old peach, fashion. big peach schnapps, peach wine. <laughs> First, how about let's just eat a peach? Yeah. Let's see. They finally bloomed. Check it out right here. I know this ain't a peach, but uh, nice little squash. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Yeah, big crook neck squash. So, let's get in here and see if I can find me a peach. Okay, that's enough humidity for me out here. Woo! Let's get over here in the shade, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good, y'all. Pretty good peach. Mm. There you go. Boom, it's, well, I tell you what, it is warm out today, isn't it? It's because our love is so hot. That humidity, mm. Our love is so hot, so much. And I love his touch. And I'm wait, so wait. great. Time out, this is sounding a lot like freaking Sesame Street or something. Okay, I don't, that is just. That was a sweet, mm -mm. sweet. No. Our love is so hot. I mean, don't listen to her, guys. It's the humidity. Yeah, listen to me. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely awesome, but yet bad. So, hopefully, the old peach tree won't snap. That thing is loaded, though. It's loaded. And uh, not quite ready. Some of those are not quite ready uh so i mean it's just weighted down but yeah i think we're going to do something with it maybe yeah try something you know and you could do something with peach and i'm going to show you what else you can do with peach you can use it as a moisturizer won't that get sticky mm -mm. i'll smell good <laughs> so we can light a candle what are you talking about it's it's lighting just, a candle and all that because this is lotion. we're talking about romance on here we're talking to the people they don't care about that they don't okay care about no they the don't songs i make okay i didn't say about that they just don't care about your hot burning love my gosh okay sorry y'all we try on. to keep this uh family friendly but you know we've also said that we're not responsible for scarring your children's minds yeah but anyways, get back to what we was talking about. The peach tree is about to daggum break and there ain't nothing we can do about it. I mean, we was gonna prop some stuff up under the limbs and, and it's just, it's loaded as y'all seen. So we're just checking on it each day, picking up and picking some of the peaches off of it and um, but, giving mom and daddy some of them and we're yeah. eating some of them. And 
but when it started getting warm, him and daddy wanted to, um, like, cut it back. And I'm the one that said, no, 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 no. No, I wasn't going to cut it back when it started getting warm. Well, whenever we could, could cut stuff. I did cut it back when we did our garden. So, that's right, it growed fast then. And then when the peaches, it just, I'm talking, that's why we're doing the, the weight. Bit, the weight of it, it's weighting it down. I think yeah. you may be misunderstood. No. Because I was talking about cutting it back during the fall. You that's know, kind of it giving was. it a good prune and a good topping or whatever, you know. Because I was like, well, we need to cut it back now. And now we can't. I'm not going to cut it and deal with a million peaches. Yeah. You know, let all that happen and get done with. And and I'm surprised because usually the squirrels oh my gosh. tear that tree up. Yes, they usually, usually we don't even get a peach. Mm -mm. Maybe one or two, kind of like, you know, the way the plum tree and the apple trees are. We're lucky to even, well, we haven't got an apple in a while. Mm -mm. A few and years. the plum tree, I think we only had two on it yeah. that they stripped. Yeah, they stripped. So normally they just bounce over and move to the daggum peach tree and get them. But guess what? With that garden and Mr. Uncle Scarecrow out there doing his job, yeah. I believe we've, uh, we've so far have skimped by uh, nothing getting in the garden and the peach tree obviously is loaded. So yeah, they've, they, can, they can eat some of them on the ground, but see, they like them when they're smaller. When the seed is immature, that's when they would get them. They wouldn't let nothing mature, you know? I wonder if it's because those aluminum things that's hanging off the, of Yeah, Mr. well, that Scott. helps. And then, that remember helps. we put that one other aluminum thing in the tree? Yeah. And, an, I mean, another one to hang there. I wonder if that kept them out. I think too. it, well, it's worked in the past before for people. So we tried it, and I believe it did, those little aluminum pans. Yeah, sure did, so... And we got us a daggum big crook neck squash. There was one more in there on another plant that was a little bit, a lot smaller than this one. So tomorrow, they grow fast. So tomorrow we'll probably pick that other one and have us a little squash Yeah. for tomorrow or the next you day. You think how sweet and delicate that is? I know, they're good. Mm. We done picked a couple little smaller ones and uh, gave hey, them to mom and daddy and they chopped them right up and breaded them up and fried them right up oh and you yesterday picked some corn yeah we didn't bring it we got to go get the corn yeah ha <laughs> um. that silk went on Bubba's back look at that y'all look at that right there some good old good old silver queen so I mean they're small little ears right now I'm hoping our next batch uh, grows, but look at that. That's pretty decent looking. Well, the sun's gonna... Hey, but they're gonna be tender. Yeah, that'll be good. That's Silver Queen. So we picked about, you know, half a dozen, uh, or I did the other day and gave mom and daddy three. That's a little bitty fella right there. I was wondering how that one was gonna be. This is so small. And it's actually got some, you know. It's got hey, kernels on there. Kernels, yeah. So, That's going to be good. Oh, wait. No, that was the small one. This was the little tiny one. I don't even know. Oh, look. Oh, it <laughs> did have one in it. Look, it's a baby. <laughs> look at that. That's a little bitty fella. Okay, here's that. And then, <coughs> uh, so we got actually seven. I'm sorry. I picked seven. Right. And here's another little bitty fella, really. So, you know. That one's pretty good size. So we got some more, yeah, we got some more growing and hopefully uh, now with getting moisture and not a drought, we had a drought guys for probably a good 30, 35 days and um, but the, but right, right when the corn was starting to grow an ear, you know, when they're little and then it just stopped, stopped for a whole month. But we wouldn't have what we have if you didn't go and take care of and put a little water on everything yeah i tried i only kept it alive because each day i would take five gallons of water rain water and or from the air conditioner condensation water and go up there every evening and just get water on everything that we had and it kept it alive 
but hopefully it'll have time to grow and mature before you know frost because i mean there is a very much of potential that we get a frost here in the next month it, it happens but hopefully with corn and things like that a frost won't hurt it as you know like a hard freeze so you know we'll see who knows i don't know i was talking to daddy today about the weather and i was like i cannot handle the cold as much as the heat yeah and then where you've been kind of puny and not and sick you know cynthia was yeah. sick sunday monday and tuesday really just down for down for the count and we don't really know exactly what it was didn't go and get checked or nothing like that we took care of ourselves we had some antibiotics for us she's been taking that and this heat though when it's humid and stuff it's not good to be out in very very long if you can help it so i told her i said let's try to do a little video here for everybody and uh yeah here we are here we are so appreciate y'all watching okay we're gonna get out of here and um we'll see y'all on the, the next one okay so hopefully, raise your hands hopefully everybody grew a garden and is able to enjoy the harvest of what they've grown and their fruit trees and stuff so it's that time yeah so we'll see y'all on the next one peace out love you guys yeah yeah and um i just want to say to everybody um the whole world to please never give up because you are so worth yeah and you are so special and you have that beautiful That's purpose right. guys you got a purpose you got a purpose so um that being said we'll see you on the beautiful next one okay so hug yourself today and know that you matter That's love right. you guys see ya Yurt. Yeah, see y'all.